Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4, and today I want to talk about Modern Warfare 3 because this week is old school week, so that's why I played Black Ops 1 on Monday. Because I know I forgot to tell you guys that this week I was going to do old school week about Call of Duty games, and uh, I forgot to tell you guys. So, anyways, yeah, this week I will be playing Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2. And no, I will not get Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 4 because they're pretty much hacked and fucked up that I don't, I don't want to get my PSN hacked. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you always got to take precautions and all that stuff. So, anyways, um, yeah, today I just want to talk about Modern Warfare 3, how it was, how good it was, how bad it was. Also, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be like, you know, one-sided. I'm going to be both-sided, you know. I'm going to tell you guys the, the, the bad things and the good things and blah, blah, you know. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of my, my experience right now, guys. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I consider this game as the most fun game of all time. I mean, not of all time, not of every single game that was released on PS3, but like um, the most fun game of the whole series. I think it was the most fun game because of the people that I hanged out with. I mean, after I joined Damage Inc., it was a clan, a clan that was ranked level 50 in the whole world. And, you know, I was the, the first one with, uh, you know, with the idea of recruiting more people by using my YouTube channel. And uh, a lot of people joined in, and that's how we ended up growing. And, um, you know, the clan pretty much grew from there. And I ended up doing every single clan ops. And in every single kill come from clan op, I actually ended up getting like around 600 tags or more in three hours. Which is pretty much insane because most of my teammates, most of my clan members can barely get like 500 or less. Actually, most of my teammates only got like around 250 and less. While me and Crew 7 Chavez actually competed to get the first place. And it was pretty much hilarious because he was always like, oh, god damn, you know. You beat me by one or by 60 or something like that. He was so close to me. I mean, it was pretty fun back in the day. And that's another thing I want to mention you guys. I want to mention you, the guys, the people that actually make the, the you know, the game more fun. Uh, the first name I want to mention, Cruel 7 Chavez. This guy was in every single Modern Warfare 3 video. Why? Because, you know, I, I don't know. We just have the most random moments. And that's how we, you know, we ended up, you know, making more funny moments. And um, I don't know what Cruel 7, Ch what Cruel 7 Chavez did was hilarious most of the time so i put you there chavez i know you understand right you're probably gonna call me gay after this but i don't care uh it was pretty much fun with you uh anyways um moving on to the next person i want to talk about war gamer another guy who made this game fun frank 1999 a guy who i don't even play no more because you know he just gone to his different route but overall the guy was pretty fun frank 1999 was a fun guy um Another guy trolling you came around like around July or something like that. I forgot when you came in trolling you, but you did play with Modern Warfare 3 with me a few times. Uh, Creation, that's another guy who just got off PS3 because he couldn't pay his internet, but the guy was pretty fun also. He he was in uh, this other clan, California Mexicana, and I ended up being recruited by them after I left Damage Inc. And, um, you know, we just became friends from there. And, um,. I don't know. Overall, it was a great experience with that guy, too. It was pretty fun to hang around with him. And I also did record him, so you might find him in my Modern Warfare 3 Funny Live Moments, like Episode 5 or 6. I forgot which one it was. But you can look at my old Funny Live Moments, and you can see some of those people that I'm talk talking to you guys about. And another pair, this pair, this is the best dynamic duo, the best fucking, like, hilarious duo you can ever be in, guys. Gotcha Good and Psycho Kills. These two guys... We're always bringing me a freaking laugh every single time I was break playing around with them in Modern Warfare 3. I mean, every single day, it was something different with these two guys. I mean, I don't know. It was just different. I just play with them every single day with them in Modern Warfare 3. And they come up with the most random stuff, man. And I just laugh my ass off. So, um, so yeah, you guys want to see these guys that I'm mentioning you guys right now, just go to my old videos. You should be able to see them. And uh, who's another guy? Uh, Reverend Lovejoy, you know, this guy was a good leader and all but he just made a lot of mistakes in the damaging clan that i was in before and um i don't know should i talk about my clan that i was in before i think i should all right most of you guys don't even know that i used to be in the badass clan and the clan that i used to dedicate myself to and it's called damage inc and um what happened in damage inc was that um you know i was recruited by them after posting on on the on the forums i don't think it was called forums i think it was called the comment section of the of the clan ops there was there used to be a comment section they used to and I posted my channel saying that, you know, hey, I have a YouTube channel. I, I uh, you know, in the single uh, ops, single ops, or I forgot what it is, solo ops. I used to record like around 600 kill confirmed tags per three hours. And they were like, all right, a lot of people, a lot of clients recruited me 
by I chose Damage Inc. because you know there were like 25 people or 23 people, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick up this clan. I know these guys have potential, and they did. You know, Stanton Warrior, uh, Revan Lovejoy, Beast Boy Rand, uh, who else had it? Um, a lot of these people, you know, they were pretty much oh, they were like 30 year old guys, 40 year old guys, and uh, but you know, they understand me, you know, they because uh, I was good. I told them the truth, you know, I collect this much tags of kill, kill confirm, and I'm that good. I want you guys to recruit me, and they they were like, all right, you know. I accepted their their uh, clan invite because I got like around five clan invites after posting that on on, uh, on the freaking comment section of the clan ops, and I was like, you know, I'm not gonna be recruited by these other other idiots, and uh, I ended up being recruited by Damage Inc. So I joined Damage Inc. After every single clan ops, I was in first place all the time, except for domination though. I didn't like domination at all. TDM, I was I will always get like around 300 kills or so, like in three hours, or maybe even more. And I always ended up in first. Second place will always be standing words in that clan house. But in Kill Confirm, it was always me and Cruel Seven Chavez. No matter what. Me and Cruel Seven Chavez will always be neck to neck with that freaking clan ops. And uh he he will always tell me like, God damn, you know, how the hell do you do it? You know, <laughs> I don't know, I just freaking rush. Me and my P90 were beastie. So uh so yeah, I mean a lot of things happened in damage ink and it was just uh, it's a long ass story, guys. Right now I'm just gonna stop the story because it, it, it is a really long story. You guys want me to tell you guys more about this story about damaging please let me know in the comment section i mean it is a it is a really long interesting story because i ended up leaving the clan rejoining the clan the clan ended up in being in the top 50 in the whole world the highest we ever been was um i think it was ranked 27 in the whole world after a kill confirmed clan ops because i got like around 700 or 680 one time in three hours so it's pretty much insane so moving on to some other stuff that i want to talk about modern warfare 3 is the gun the p90 now the p90 <sighs> i consider this one of the most legendary guns in call of duty i just wish it would come back every single day because i mean every single call of duty because i don't know it's the most comfortable gun i ever used it was great with stalker it was it, I, I didn't need it lightweight i didn't need no speed to you know to run around the, the field and say tell to myself like you know i need more speed i never told that to myself because I was quick already with the P90. I was a quick reloader. I was pretty much quick in aiming. I had stalker. I mean, everything was just there for me with the P90, and I was really surprised. So, um, it's because in Black Ops 1, I used the AK-74U a lot of times that I just thought to myself, like, I think every gun should be like this, but the P90 proved me wrong. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it is another long story for the P90. I'll explain it later, guys. So, uh, if you guys want more story from Modern Warfare 3, please let me know in the comment section. I'll bring you guys more gameplay for Modern Warfare 3. So, um, so yeah, I got, I got a little bit tongue twisted there because I've been talking real fast because the video is about to end. So, anyways, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later, and enjoy your day.